Hello anybody, I am Canadian and today we are opening the Loot Crate. The February one, which is the theme is play. And yeah. This is the first loot crate I've ever bought. So I don't know what's inside. We're gonna find out. are really bugging me because I've been watching other people and I've seen videos start going up on it and it's like ah, I can't watch at all because I have to wait for it to come because I can I would watch old or uh, I would watch the other loot crates when they when people got them it's like oh cool there's lots of cool stuff in it but now I have one, so I don't have to, aww. And I ruined it. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, I'll show the box after this. All right. So, first off, is the only, the one thing I knew that was coming in it, and that is a super fight loot crate pack, like expansion deck. I believe it's an expansion deck, isn't it? Or is it like a solo deck that you can play with? That'd be cool if it can be played by itself. Because I don't have any Super Fight cards. I've looked at getting them, but I never, I've never gotten around to it. And I really want to. So, oh, what? So many different colors. Super Fight. Oh, what? Oh, this is so cool. Wait, so, oh, it is, okay, cool. So, It has white cards, which you obviously need. It has black cards, but then it comes with blue, a uh, part of the blue expansion, and purple. Now, I don't think I've ever seen purple. Oh, yes, okay. Okay, I thought this was the, like, nerd culture expansion was purple. I don't know. And then this one, the blue one, is places. So it has places, what I thought was nerd culture, but I'm going to have to look up what the purple ones are. Then it has regular cards, like the black cards, and white cards it comes with. So that's pretty cool. I can play Super Fight without having to buy any Super Fight cards. But I probably will. It's like 100 cards. Actually, no, it's a lot. I can't remember. I think it's 100 cards. Yeah, so, if you don't know what Super Fight is, Super Fight is like a Cards Against Humanity style game, but you draw three black and three white cards, and you pick one black card and one white card. And the... Is it the black ones or the white ones? Okay, yeah. The white ones are a person, and the black ones are like an ability to it, and you would play one of those each, and that's your fighter. That's like your superhero kind of character. And then you debate with your friend. No, after you've played your cards, then you have to draw a black card off the top, so your character gets a random ability, which could completely hinder it or make it extremely overpowered. And then you have to debate how your character would beat everyone else's character that you're playing with. So it's kind of like a mini debate game, except completely random like you'll have George Bush with a chainsaw or something it's amazing and I'm really glad about that that's what really got me excited when I saw it was coming uh, next we have oh this isn't sealed properly the bolded box isn't folded money world you can draw on money you can paint on money you Pens, pencils, and crayons on money make things to put in money's hands, make hats to put on money's head. Or you can just keep money alone and put keep money next to you 
for your company. Oh, it's a vinyl art. Oh. It's like a blank vinyl art guy. That's cool. That is really cool. And it's Loot Crate. Oh, and it comes with, like, markers and stuff. Hey, it comes with markers. Dude, this is so cool. Look at that package in there. Oh, you're so awesome. I think I already know what I'm going to do with this little guy. I kind of want to make, like, a character that I would have made from Mod Nation Racers. Like, that's how they look to me. Like, they have that same style to them. So that's all I can think of of doing is like, oh man, I could recreate a Mod Nation Racers character. I'm probably going to say I like a lot of things in this. I'm realizing. Alright. Next is a hex bug. Cool. I've always thought about buying one of these. But never did. That's cool. Please keep these instructions. Wait, what's inter when's International Board Game Day? Sometime in March, right? I think it's like late March. I can't remember. I should check into that. I just started thinking about that after I thought, hey, look, yeah. Board games. Loot Crate. Playing games. Even though there isn't any board games. Except for the packaging, which is what I need to show after. I keep forgetting. I, I, I forgot about that. Yes. Okay. Get that packaging out of the way. All right. How do I turn you on? Okay. See you around. Um. Christ, that thing is fast. Where did he even go? Oh, he's right there. He like ran into a box and he's just like hiding on a box. Hey, little guy. Come here. Don't do that. You can't just run into a box and get your freaking gears stuck in it. All right. Well, um, I'm probably going to have to figure out like a closed space for that thing. It just straight bailed off the table as fast as it could. So I wonder if this is going to go up before Half-Life or after Half-Life? It's probably gonna go up to after Half-Life. So what'd you think about that ending? I record the main Let's Play videos like in big sessions of like five hours. Yeah, I record those in like five hour chunks. So I've had that game beaten for like at least two weeks, I think. Okay, let's just grab this bag. What is in the dice bag? What the heck? That's cool. Oh, cool! That's neat! Okay, so... It's rock, paper, scissors. It's rock, paper, scissors dice. So, like, one person will have one die and you'll have the other one, and then you just roll. roll. So, say, I'm white, and... I roll paper, and my opponent rolls... Scissors, of course, because I lose in my explanation of how it works. Awesome. All right, cool. That's actually really neat. And I've needed a dice bag for a while because I play Magic, so I have a bunch of D20s. And I need a bag for those D20s. That's awesome. And I'll be able to play Rock, Paper, Scissors anywhere I go in dice format. That's cool. I like it. Cool. Um, there's this tube thing. I think it's a poster. I think that might be a poster. What of? Oh. oh, that's cool. That's really cool. It's like a... I think it's an Atari cartridge. I never had an Atari. But I think that's Atari. And it's like the skeleton of it, but then there's the game of Pac-Man right in the middle of it. So it's kind of like saying it's in the build. I don't know. That's just really cool. I like it. 
I'll probably hang that up. That's awesome. Cool. Sweet. Um. Oh my god. That's a book. Willy Wonka meets the Matrix. See what's going on in the background there? Or what is in the background? It's like apartment buildings, but they're all campers. That's neat. Man, I'm gonna have to, oh, I'm definitely reading that. It's like uh, in the future, I'm guessing, because of the camper apartments, and this kid, this teenager, puts himself into like a virtual reality world. He goes into a game. And he dedicates his time to solving the puzzles in the game. Like, finding the hidden puzzles. And the... You're promised wealth and power or something. If you figure it all out. But then when he starts finding the puzzles, other players are trying to kill him. Sounds interesting. I'm gonna read it. Cool. I never knew there was a game called Firefly Online. Um... Oh, it's not released. And when the game comes out, I get a ship called the Overland, which is like a giant transport, a, spa a speedy transport. I'm going to have to look into Firefly Online. That actually sounds kind of cool. Loot Crate Magazine. Play. Ooh. Oh, there's little tokens. Oh, for the... Oh, cool. This is for the back. The, the game that's on here. Okay, before I go any farther, there's a pin. I need to check the pin. Okay, so that'll go with my other pins. I need to make a pin wall. Oh, God, I hope you guys have seen all this. Like, that you can see all this, because I realize I'm pretty far away from the camera. Hi over there, can you hear me? Was that irritating? That was probably irritating. The game is called Crate Packing Simulator 2015, and it shows how to unfold into this big board game. Boom! That's awesome! Ta-da! Ta-da! All right, cool. I wonder how many times I've said cool. Someone should count how many times I've said cool. It's probably been a lot. So looking in this, yeah, the rock, paper, scissors thing is like rock a game you can play of rock, paper, scissors, but they integrated it into this game as well. Now, I thought, you know what we should do? I should show you how this game works. And I don't know how the expansions work, if you're supposed to put them in with your cards or something. That's the card sheet. Oh, there we go. Um, can, do you tell me how expansions work? They do. So the big, like the big set, the core set that this comes with is 500 cards. And it's $35, I think. So I'm probably going to end up buying that. And the blue and purple cards, blue are locations, purple are scenarios. Set them aside, draw one, both are none for each fight, either before players, fighters are created or after to take them by surprise. Okay. Okay. So, so I take... Three black and three white. I really hope I don't draw the blank because I'm not drawing on these cards. Oh my god. I'm going with this. Okay. So then you discard whatever cards you had. And so it says with these, you're just supposed to take all oh, because I didn't shuffle. Okay, so our place is the slope of an erupting volcano. Shh. Shit. And that actually does not help me at all. And the fighters are jousting. God dang it. Are you kidding me? This is the worst demonstration ever. Okay, what I had was a hydra. A hydra that has to joust on the slope of an erupting volcano. I think I'm already dead. But... I can call in orbital bombardments. So in a normal game, I'd be pretty overpowered. But because of 
to the fact that we're jousting and we're on the slope of a volcano that's erupting, it doesn't really help me. And then, so after that, you take a black card and place it. You don't get to choose if you do. You have to place it. I'm armed with a limitless loot crate. I get every attribute. Because I play it from the super fight deck. Unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much... And then you just debate how your character could win in a battle. Like, you guys would just explain how my guy's better than your guy. I didn't realize that they were cult, like they were different colored backs, so you had to play them differently. Because I had seen the other decks, like the R-rated deck, so the adult-only deck, and then the kids, like the general audience's deck. And those are shuffled in with it, because they are characters and abilities, or attributes, as well. Yeah. So, that's how you play Star... Star... I was about to say Star Maid. This isn't Star Maid. Star Maid's a video game. That's like Minecraft in space. That's how you play Super Fight. Alright. Yeah, so that's been this month's Loot Crate. This was totally worth $35, and yeah, I'll consider buying this again. Maybe a year. I should order a year. I think I get a promo code that I can give you guys. I don't know. I think. I don't know. I don't know how Loot Crate works. I'm going to consider getting other crates as well. What other crates, you ask? I don't know. Maybe this one called Freedom Japanese Market. It's Japanese candies. And... I kind of like Japanese stuff. It's pretty good. Yeah, so... I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to see talking to you in the next video. See ya! a monkey. No, this can't be Atari. Because wasn't the, the Pac-Man version of Atari just total garbage? Yeah, it was. The Atari version of Pac-Man was garbage. The freaking pellets were like rectangles. And everything was just so glitchy and broken. Yeah, if I went and played Magic, I could really throw people off and just be like, hey, instead of like rolling in to see who goes first with the dice, like D20s. Why don't we have a rock, paper, scissors? And I'll throw the dice out. And then they'll be like, no. And I'll be like, ah. Okay. And I want to get, like, random stuff. I don't want to have to sit there and go, mm, well, I want this and this. I want to get a crate and go, what is this?